Here we're going to look at acids and bases and we're going to look at it from the idea of a titration and we're going to use determining the equivalence point in an acid-base titration and we'll look at how we do that mathematically. So we are reminded that when we do a titration we are adding a base to an acid to reach a neutralization point and that is determined primarily by using an indicator called phenothaline. Phenothaline remains clear in an acid, so this would be the Erlenmeyer flask on the left, and it would turn bright pink in a strong base, so this would be the Erlenmeyer flask on the right. But as you titrate, when you get the acid to just hold enough of the pink color to show that the base is beginning, you know that is the equivalence point, and that's when you have neutralization between the acid and base. So the formula for this is NB times MABA equals NA times MBBB. And let's see what those variables mean in that equation. So NB MAVA equals NAMBVB translates to this. NA is the moles of acid if you were to look at the balanced chemical equation for that titration. MA is the molarity of the acid solution. VA is the volume of the acid solution. NB is the number of moles in, of the base in that balance chemical equation for the titration. MB is the molarity of the base solution and VB is the volume of the base solution. So here we have our first example of this type of equation and we have a 25 milliliter solution of 2.5 molar HCl hydrochloric acid and it is being titrated with a 1.5 molar sodium hydroxide NaOH solution and we are looking for the volume of the base necessary to reach an equivalence point in this titration. So the first thing we do is we create a balanced chemical equation for this reaction. So hydrochloric acid, HCl, plus sodium hydroxide, NaOH, yields water, H2O, and sodium chloride, NaCl, salt. When we look at our variables, we have Na, and in this case we have one mole of hydrochloric acid reacting in this equation. Our molarity of the acid from the problem is 2.5 molar. Our volume of the acid is 25.0 milliliters. In the balanced chemical equation, the number of moles of the base is 1, so 1 mole of sodium hydroxide. Our molarity of the sodium hydroxide is 1.5 molar, and our volume of the base is what we're looking for. So using the equation NBMAVA equals NAMBVB, we plug in the corresponding values and we get 1 times 2.5 molar times 25.0 milliliters equals 1 times 1.5 molar times x milliliters. And then doing the associated algebra for this solution, we end up with a volume of 41.67 milliliters. So if we started with 25 milliliters of 2.5 molar HCl, and we titrated it with a 1.5 molar sodium hydroxide solution, we would need 41.67 milliliters of the sodium hydroxide in order to reach an equivalence point. So let's look at a second example of this type of problem. So here we have a 15 milliliter sample of nitric acid, HNO3, and it is titrated with 22.5 milliliters of a 2.0 molar magnesium hydroxide solution. We are looking for the molarity of the nitric acid. So again, we begin with a balanced chemical equation, and here we have two 
HNO3, so two moles of nitric acid, plus MgOH2, so one mole of magnesium hydroxide, and we will get two moles of H2O water and one mole of magnesium nitrate salt. So our Na is two, the moles of acid. Ma is the molarity of the acid, which in this case, this is the value we are looking for. The volume of the acid is 15 milliliters. Our moles of base is one, our molarity of the base is 2.0 molar, and our volume of the base is 22.5 milliliters. Using the equation NBMAVA equals NAMBVB, we plug in the associated values and we get 1 times x molar times 15.0 milliliters equals 2 times 2.0 molar times 22.5 milliliters. Doing the algebra, we end up with a value of 6 molar for the acid. So the nitric acid would be 6 molar. If we used a 2.0 molar magnesium hydroxide solution, and we were able to add 22.5 milliliters of that base to the original 15 milliliters of nitric acid.